Karen, what is our first main topic today? Our first main topic comes from Dylan's dialogue. Hey there, John and team. Hey, I just read the news that Robert Pattinson is set to star in Bong Joon-ho's new film. The film, currently untitled, will be a sci-fi movie based on the novel Mickey 7 for Warner Brothers. I loved Parasite so damn much, so I am very much looking forward to this. What are your thoughts? And happy No Pants Thursday. Uh, no, the No Pants Thursdays have returned. All right. Thanks a lot for that, man. And yes, listen, I remember back when they announced that Robert Pattinson was going to be Batman and everybody was, so many people were upset, but you could always tell immediately who are the people that have seen the amazing Robert Pattinson work that he's done between Twilight and now, and who hasn't? You could instantly tell because people who have seen all of his work that he's done in all these great indie projects over the years have gone, oh, wow, this is a fascinating choice for Batman. And then, of course, the ones that were Twilight, boy, Twilight, they were the boy. ones who have not seen Robert Pattinson's other work. You just tell that. But I remember when they announced it, we said, listen, guys, very quietly, every all the big directors have been lining up behind the scenes trying to work with Robert Pattinson. They want this guy. Christopher Nolan wants this guy, right? Matt got, Reeves got him. Well, got him. And then went out and got him at the time. Christopher Nolan won. Got him. Uh, the, then Matt Reeves wanted him to be Batman. Got him. Well, now there's another name to be added to that. And it's Academy Award winner, of course, the director of Parasite, Bong Joon-ho has now cast him to be in his next upcoming sci-fi epic. This comes to us from the folks over at NUI who write the following. According to Deadline, the Parasite director is in talks to write, direct, and produce an untitled film adaptation of Edward Ashton's upcoming novel, Mickey 7, for Warner Brothers. Bong also has his eye on Robert Pattinson to star. Plan B, Kate Street Picture Company, and Bong's production company, Offscreen, are slated to produce. The Batman star, Pattinson, proved perfect for the lead. It wasn't long before Bong and execs were impressed with Pattinson following his meeting and felt he was perfect for the role with an offer going out right before the new year deadline reported. And this is a very interesting kind of sounding project. Now, I don't know a lot about it. It's based on a book. It's based on a novel that hasn't even come out yet. Yeah. They were so enthused with this that they actually fed him the manuscript for it prior to the book coming out. And I lost the description for oh, the movie. It, the Martian meets multiplicity. The Martian meets multiplicity. So High concept sci-fi thriller in which Mickey 7, an expendable, refuses to let his replacement clone Mickey 8 take his place. So the basic idea was he's part of a colony and he gets all the jobs that are the most dangerous jobs. But whenever he dies, his consciousness gets transformed into a, into a new thing and becomes Mickey 2, Mickey 3, Mickey 4. Well, apparently it said in the description that I read that Mickey 7 goes off on some mission. He's assumed dead, but then he comes back. Only there's a Mickey 8 now. And you cannot have two at the same time. So now he's like kind of in hiding and stuff like that. But wouldn't they have needed to transfer the consciousness from Mickey 7 into See, Mickey that 8? They say the consciousness gets transferred. So that increases the mystery of it. Like oh. what is Soylent Green? Who so, is Mickey 8? Who is Mickey 8? Or, and do the consciousness get transferred at all? Or That's the question, right? So it brings up a whole different layer of mystery. It's, and again, being brought to us by the guy who did Parasite. I remember when I Anne and I first went to go watch Parasite. We were like floored by it. Like I just thought it was so well done, so well paced, so well told that I've been really excited. Of course, he's done a lot of other stuff. He's done everything from the giant monster creature epics to Academy Award winning things like Parasite. I mean, Ho has done a lot of great stuff. Serial killer movie, Memories of Murder is really good too. That's, that's a good one. And now we've got this and he's working with Robert Pattinson. I... <sighs> I don't know if this is going to do much to put any more respect on Pattinson's name. I think that's still going to be, that, that jury's still going to be out for a lot of people until we see the Batman. Like once we see the Batman, I think then people will finally take it seriously. Cause like there are still a lot of people. You guys don't get it. There's still a lot of people who write to me every day. That's like, well, I'm not interested in the Batman. <laughs> you get this little Harry Potter kid. <laughs> this I, a lot. Then I often forget that he was in Harry Potter too, but you got to get this little scrawny blah, blah, blah kid in it and there's this little like whatever Christian moment. Bale was in Newsies I mean yes he was Christian I mean Bale was you in know Newsies. he grows up mm -hmm. I, and I don't understand can I just say 
the Twilight franchise, tra- the Twilight franchise was hugely popular and made a hell of a lot of money, billions. And it's it's like what's wrong? It's a vampire franchise about a girl falling in love with a vampire. Who doesn't love that? Everyone loves vampires, right? Don't they? And there's werewolves. There's I don't understand. I love the Twilight franchise. Bring it on. I only read the first book. Well, what do you book. think about the sounds of this Mickey 7? How's it sound? It sounds cool. I mean, you know, what, what is it with cloning? You know, Mahershala Ali is in that new movie. Swan Song. With, Swan Song. Swan Song. With, Song. With, uh, with it's Glenn Close is the doctor and he's dying and they've created a clone of him. Well, because we're getting so close to it. We've, you know, we cloned Dolly the sheep and now that guy had a successful pit heart transplant from a pig that was all, you we're know. 20 years since yes. the clones attacked. I mean, <laughs> I think that because attack. we've seen so many advances in the technology of AI, I think people are really kind of freaked out. Like, oh the my more God. Be- the closer we're- it becomes to being reality, the more, the more we're going to see out. it. See, mm-hmm. I'm looking forward to them making an army of clones of me. <laughs> That's what I look forward to. And they're gonna and and they will dominate the earth by talking incessantly about the versillimilitude of <laughs> versillimilitude. The versillimilitude of uh, of of, of uh, physical okay. media. What can I say? You know, I, I I'm gonna send my army out into the world to make it a better place. Aaron, you were you're here about this Mickey Seven, Bong Joon Ho. What do you think about it? Well, first of all, Bong Joon Ho is such a um, I don't want to say a Cinderella story, but he really is an inspirational story for filmmakers, not just uh, aspiring filmmakers in America, but all over the world. Um, because let's face it, you know, even though America is not the end all be all of entertainment, I get that. However, um, being a filmmaker is when you come to America and you win on the world on the stage of the Oscars, it definitely elevates your profile in a way that it just is not in other countries. And so when Bong Joon-ho won the Academy Award for Parasite for a film that was really, you know, shot in very few locations, it didn't have any big bombs exploding. It wasn't a a a big studio movie that was all over the place. It was kind of like a quiet sleeper hit that came in. And let's face it, it had no recognizable actors from, no recognizable American audience actors, I'll say that. And it was with subtitles. No one would have predicted that five years prior. No. That that would have won the Academy Award. And so he really changed the game when it came to international films getting the world's platform um you know on on that kind of stage and now we see him being able to attract the most uh, the, the most exciting and sought after actors in hollywood um let's face it as you just said Robert Pattinson has his choice of yeah. anyone that he wants to work with. And so the fact that he chose this project um, really says something. I think that uh, it's going to be it's going to be incredible. I don't love the name. Sorry. Mickey is just it's too it. It just it, reminds me too much. Not of what you're thinking. Oh, Mickey, you're so That's fine. exactly you're what so I was thinking. No, I was oh, actually really? thinking of Mickey exactly Mantle. Ba- it sounds like a baseball. Is it the history? Is it a Mickey Mantle movie that's set in the... Are you, no, you're thinking of Mickey Mouse. Oh, yeah. Mickey, but I was instantly so thinking, you're yeah. So fun, you're blowing my head. The thing about no, Bong Joon-ho um, also is that he works in all different genres. Yeah. You know, he's Master. a consummate storyteller. And I've been, you know, Korean cinema is some of the most vibrant and creative in the world today. Mm-hmm. Obviously, we got Squid Game this year which is an incredible phenomenon and it's it's there's some incredible i love horror movies i saw the devil if you want to see a movie watch i he didn't direct it but watch i saw the devil is it a korean film it's a Korean film. Because I will watch was, anything that comes out of Korea. King, you, have you watched Kingdom? That's I yet. have not watched Kingdom. Kingdom. That's that's the the period piece Game of Thrones. It's a it's a period piece zombie thing. That's kind of it's awesome. Up like I Game love zo- I love any it's, anything with a zombie. If you are if you are the undead, as long as it's eating, not a zombie spider. As long as it's not a zombie spider, I'm into it. And Train to Busan still remains. Ha, have you seen the new? Korean, there's a tra- I think it's dropping on Netflix. I think it's called All of Us Are Dead. Ah, uh, I'm in. It looks incredible. What and it's the, another Korean. What was the movie. recent Korean TV show um, about the the where the, they come up and it's like you will die. And- Hellbound. Oh, oh yeah. my! It was God. so good. Hellbound was <laughs> amazing. It was amazing. I- Netflix. 
Was that on it's Netflix? on Netflix. Oh yeah. my god, Hellbound! I like I'm sweating right now just thinking about it. The season two of Hellbound. Oh my god, I can't deal. By it the way, really now, really I, got, I don't know if it's Korean or not. I don't know. I think it's Korean though. But my buddy Dennis, you guys know, know the Zen Master, Dennis yeah. Zen. He, I was uh, on his uh, Facebook and he put up this thing that him and his uh, lady were sitting in for the night watching. I had never heard of this. All I saw was from the neck to about the mid thigh, some hot bodied girl in a bikini on some beach and says, Singles Inferno. And I'm like, what? What? And I, I wrote on his social media, I'm like, what the hell is Singles Inferno? And he said, it's exactly what, it, what you think it is. It's an Asian, like, Lust Island kind of reality oh. show. Where you know that there was a, a rea- bunch of singles there to get. You know there was a reality other. show called Fuckboy Island. Yep. What? Now, I've- it was li- and I actually texted Breck and Meyer about it because we had been talking about the term fuckboy when we were shooting Good Girls, and I texted him and I go, "Oh my god, there's actually a show called Fuckboy Island." And he goes, "I know. I'm actually working with the creator of the show on another project." Elizabeth and I watched that. Oh, and it's the, the the female comedian that I love, and I'm drawing. Kat Dennings. She's no, no, it's not. No, no, no. She's an actual stand up. That she's always at the celebrity roasts, and she goes on the talk shows. Amy a Schumer. Lot. No, Whitney. Different one. Whitney Cummings. Nope. And I. The one that talks like this. We need she's to move on. Host. We Shut need up. to move on. We we've, we've gone way too. We're Nikki getting Grace. off topic. Yeah. Here. What was the topic again? But anyway, Bung guys. Maybe you know. seven. We're all gonna watch it. Bong Joon Ho. What do you guys think about this? We got Robert Pattinson joining Bong Joon Ho's new film, uh, coming off of Parasite, which won multiple Academy Awards. How do you guys feel about this? Are you interested or you're not? Whatever you're thinking is, jump down into the comment section below and let us know your thoughts.